Hey, what's up, you guys? Coach Joey coming in. It is July 7th. Uh, it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm pulling up to the gym. But I wanted to make a, a quick video today. Um, I was kind of reading through some stuff the other day, and it kind of put some things into perspective for myself. And I always like to pass some of that information on. And, you know, if it helps out one or two people and get somebody on track, even if it makes you 10% better than where you currently are, then, you know, that's a victory. So what they were kind of talking about is... Uh, they were equating, uh, obviously this is going to be monetary com compared to that, and it's a little bit raw, but I was reading something and it said, think of something that you really would never want to do. Um, so for me, an uh, easy answer to that is I would never want to shovel pig shit. Um, it's not very elaborate. There's not much intrinsic thought in that. It's really hot in Florida. I would imagine pig shit doesn't smell really good. So boom, that's step number one. Step number two is imagine if somebody told you that they would give you 20 million dollars after five years of shoveling pig shit seven days a week 12 hours a day so five years seven days a week 12 hours a day you shovel pig shit that's all you do you wake up you go shovel pig shit you come home you go to sleep would you do it and the decision is pretty easy most people would say yes to that and the reason why is because they see the end they can literally calculate the, the amount of shit that you would have to shovel, the hours worked, whatever the case is, and at the end of that, you would end up with $20 million, and then you could set off to do whatever you want to do. All your financial prayers would be answered. The cool part of this concept is they were trying to talk about this in a sense of real fucking life, and people aren't willing to make those sacrifices to become successful. So the alternative to the shoveling the pig shit is working a nine to five job, eight hours a day, Maybe you're making six, seven, eight hundred bucks a week. You live pretty comfortable and you're happy, but you have to do it for the rest of your fucking life and you don't really add tons of value to yourself. So the, the point that they were trying to make is that if you take five hard years and you literally make all the sacrifices that it takes, whether you want to be financially successful, whether it's related to your education, even if you want to be a philanthropist, even if you want to give back as much to the community and to the people as you possibly can, that never happens unless you have a following. And to get out there and get a following, you have to work really, really freaking hard at it. Um, if you think about it from uh, an athletic perspective. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm involved in CrossFit. Strength and conditioning coaching is a big thing in a CrossFit facility. But you think about these professional sports athletes. You think these guys were lucky? You think they got there on accident? Hell no. They spent 12 hours a day for at least five years grinding it out, not going out and partying not buying the next new pair of shoes, not buying the car that they that they had the need right there. They literally live with the bare necessities and every decision that they make is geared towards that goal. So if you really write your goals down on paper and every day you're going through and any amount of time you're not spent grinding it out, trying to get to those goals, it's gonna set you further and further back. But don't settle on a life of complacency go out there get after it get what you deserve you know what i mean and it doesn't have to be financially that we talk about monetary things because people will equate that a little bit easier in their head because people always want to look at the cost instead of the value of something but it doesn't have to be money related it's like when somebody goes back to school you know you have how come the 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 mom, single mom with two kids can go back to school and be a doctor and you can't you know what i mean it's because she is literally doing every single thing to go back and make that happen if that's what she wants you know what i mean so you guys keep that in mind as you're going through your day write your goals out think about them every single day every time you're going to do something is that conducive to your goals are you willing to make the sacrifice are you willing to cut the cable off to save a hundred dollars a month cable's fucking useless what's the point of having it it's because it is a luxury because you feel good get home after eight hours of work and sitting on the couch and propping your feet up but if you shovel pig shit for five years seven days a week 12 hours a day, I guarantee you whatever goal you write down, you'll get there. All right, you guys? So keep that in mind. Sorry for the curse words in this one. I was a little amped up today. All right, you guys? We'll see you guys later on in the gym.